beer it got stuck on the ends of it and he just oh know. yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs> look at them all we're missing one yeah oh seven. yeah seven's in washington state right now oh what's he doing uh visiting a friend oh cool <laughs> yeah he's naming Lincoln. yep oh. i didn't catch <laughs> it Lincoln. oh if I've caught it right from Instagram, he's a little more than a friend, isn't he? Uh, to someone, yes. Not to seven. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> so you guys are uh, outside of Colorado now. Inside of Colorado. Oh, wait, or sorry, uh, Denver is what I meant. Yeah, we're like 15 minutes from downtown. Yeah. 15 minutes north? Uh, west. Okay. Well, we're, we're closer to Golden than Denver, but okay. We're so close. It's like this. What that I can do? I don't know if they can look at those really. They can't really. They, their staff to stay here. <laughs> He's gonna be right back. <laughs> You're a lot more mobile than you were the last time we saw you. <laughs> Out of his backpack and everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How is it? Pretty, uh, pretty cold out there. Uh, it's not so bad. It snowed today, but I went hiking and it was like thirty degrees yesterday. You went hiking? I did. I did go. Hiking. Why would you do that? <laughs> After vowing she never would again. Actually, I honestly. I still enjoy hiking. I don't enjoy day hikes. I hate day hiking. Dude, I feel like tell I me find that. it pointless, but backpacking <laughs> I love still. <laughs> yeah. Hey, can you see my trick? Please. I see your no. teeth. I have I I I <laughs> no. I don't think they can see your trick now. Yes, I can. What's your trick? You can just tell them what you do. Tell them what you do. You hang on the, the bench. <laughs> he balances on the bench. All right. Okay. That's pretty impressive. He's balancing off the bench. Oh, that is real impressive. <laughs> and his hands are off the floor. He wants you to know. Acrobat. Hmm. Nice. It wouldn't be much of a trick if they were. Wait, so Use tell me more about this. Uh, what did you call it? This uh, hiking thing? <laughs> what hiking? I do. Yeah, she likes backpacking. Is it so. something that I, you're into? Yeah. <laughs> was I Mama Kick like making you? Yeah. What'd you say? I said, was Mama Kish making you? <laughs> All the way. She can't make me do shit anymore. <laughs> yeah. What What did you do for when the next a hundred hours? Hundred hours. In the next hundred hours. <laughs> it's work been a, a it's been two hundred hours. It's been a few hundred hours since we've seen you. That's true. Do you remember them? <laughs> wow. I am heartbroken. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I grew this mustache and everything, right here. What's your, what's your guy's name? I'm Culligan. I'm dead. Dead, Colligan? What? Dead? <laughs> Actually, not dead. Not dead. Then he's like, oh, not dead. That's oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They hiked with us on the Appalachian Trail for a lot, a lot of days. I don't remember that. Yeah. Wow. Well, they remember you. Share cherries with a kid and you expect him to remember. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cherry. Yeah. That's what my name is. I'm. Yeah. I'm yeah, gonna guess Rainier. 
Did you get it right? Yeah. All right. So uh, did you guys, you guys got your copies of the book, obviously, in the mail? We did. Uh, um, we got we got it. Oh, we, hey, 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 we're going to talk for a little bit. But, hey, but, hey, we're going to talk. But, but, but can I talk to them? Well, this you, can, you can say one more thing. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, we had a bunny. You have a bunny? Yeah. Yeah. She just got one. <laughs> nice. Oh, what kind? It, it, it's white and very, very calm. Really? I've never heard that about bunnies. <laughs> yeah, this one is, though. She just kind of, like, sits there. <laughs> she, she is very calm. Mm -hmm. she, she, she likes just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like yeah. All right. You ever heard of possum it, stuffer? It, it, hey, hey. Time to and say goodbye. You're gonna say goodbye. Say goodbye. Because you're gonna go on to your next activity. <laughs> Cammy's taking Rainier to the uh, grandparents in the backyard. Oh. How are you guys doing? <laughs> We're not in the freezing cold. We're not, so not in the freezing cold. <laughs> not living outside. It's good to hear. Do you guys uh, hike a lot out there? No. Not, not as much as I thought we would. But there again, it's like, I don't know. Just mountains and stuff, you know? Like the AT was flat compared to like Colorado. <laughs> it's like, I'll take the AT any day. <laughs> Yeah. Day hiking is just not as much fun. No fun. There's no point to day hiking. You just like, it's just miles for the point of doing miles. <laughs> no. <laughs> Man, I feel you. I was talking to this group of hikers the other day, and they all do these like day or even like weekend hikes. And I'm like, that seems like so much work. Yeah. You spend half your time packing up your gear and unpacking your gear. And for the AT, you pack your gear once and you unpack your gear once. Right. And then you get this five months of walking out of it and you end up someplace. Right. Oh, there's the bunny. That is a calm bunny. <laughs> uh, Gary, you say? That is a calm bunny. Don't pee on my thing. Yeah. <laughs> this is like half the size she's going to get because she's a New Zealand bunny. So they get huge. Oh, oh those are good eating, Cammy. That's what I heard. <laughs> We're not going to eat. Hey, it hey, off the keyboard. <laughs> So uh, yeah, what was it like getting your copy of the uh, book? I was excited. Yeah, I just finished it. Oh, I'll bet. Today. <laughs> Finish halfway. I'm a procrastinator. It's a miracle I didn't only read half of it. Yeah. That's my MO. Um, I liked the book. I thought it was good. You were missing some key points though some key points that we feel as generates are very important okay, okay fill us in <laughs> so the reason that memory received the conch mm. is because she found the spider that we made kishi oh that's right and that's a really important part of our agenda uh, all right so can and you yours uh, really? and yours it's like the whole the whole thing <laughs> so for the record to set the record straight um can you want to tell that story oh yeah that's a long story but well, we did this go ahead. we did this i'm gonna tell <laughs> <laughs> we did this thing where we would jinx each other and you couldn't talk if you if you got jinxed you couldn't talk again until someone said your real name not your trail name and so Kish, at one point, broke a jinx. And it was like the first time on trail anyone had broken a jinx. And Which is so a we big like, deal. It was a big deal. It's we, a huge deal. We had nothing else to do with our lives. <laughs> it was a big deal. We walked and we jinxed each other and we drank. So um, so we like they, Culligan and Nubs came up with a punishment for Kish 
as a model, like as a mediator, I tried to like try to stop them from going too far. <laughs> and at this point, did you know about Nobs and Kids? No. Culligan didn't know that Nobs and Kids were like a thing. So like <laughs> he didn't realize, but also Nobs is ruthless. So he was not nice at all. <laughs> and Kish's biggest fear is spiders. And so they were like, we're gonna make her eat a spider. And I tried to put a stop to it. And Kish was like, no, no, I'll do it. It's fine. And then later she confided in me that she's like, Culligan's gonna forget about it. And I was like, Culligan has a steel trap of a memory when it comes to torturing people. <laughs> he called me a shirt stealing bitch for four months. <laughs> Plus the two ish. Plus the two years we've been dating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, he holds a grudge. Like, <laughs> so then. Yeah. So then we like, didn't forget obviously i think the conditions were that it had to be approved by fax the size i think but which, fax is also a degenerate like, right and then we just put the word out to like you to you guys like hey kids gather around like if you guys <laughs> find like this, just like the biggest spider you can find yeah. just like grab it put it in a ziploc bag we can make kish eat it and then like that I think was at the like the beginning of a morning that we said that, and then it, like the day progressed, and it was just a, like a miserable day of hiking. If memory serves, like it was just like really hot. That was the day that we hiked together, and then we stopped at that lake, and then after we stopped at the lake, we split off and like yeah, because she ate it the road. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Those, we like rolled up to fresh ground, and then immediately just got like doused with water guns, oh, yeah, which. Yeah. It took me a minute to take that in, in good fun. But yeah. it's, it's just like beaten down by the day. And then memory comes up she's, and she's holding this Ziploc bag with a spider. In. A live spider. <laughs> <laughs> she kept it alive. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, we we dispatched the spider yes. and uh, then forced Kish, Kish to eat it. And she ate it and then promptly threw up. And we have a video. <laughs> I can't believe you didn't put the box. It was a good size, like fat. Dude, spider. that poor oh, yeah. that, that was a good spider. Oh man. So I do need to apologize for leaving that very important story out and making it sound like we were awarded honorary degenerates just for being friends cool. and nice people. <laughs> you had to earn it. You guys earned it. <laughs> it was well earned too. I do also want to correct the story of the degenerates, like the namesake, because oh. that actually, I don't know that that was a story that was ever shared, but we became the degenerates, the original three, so Fax, Nubs, and myself became the degenerates <laughs> hiking into the Smoky Mountains the day after St. Patrick's Day. Okay. And we had been just hellaciously drunk the night before. And so Nubs and I were basically sweating alcohol <laughs> and just like terribly dehydrated. And we get like halfway up that brutal incline that takes you up into the Smokies. And it was hot and just miserable. And <laughs> facts, well, so we'd been talking about water treatment and about how Nubs and I were both filter users and facts was not, she was a, an Aquamira user or whatever. And we were talking about how Aquamira, it's not great because then you have to wait 30 minutes. And basically, she, we're having this discussion as Nubs and I are drinking water as fast as we can filter it because we're so hungover. And, uh, you know, she says something to the effect of basically like, well, you know, if I'm ever in a position where I can't spare the 30 minutes to wait for the water to be treated, then, you know, I've really done something wrong. And, you know, basically, you know, Per in parentheses, like you fucking degenerates. <laughs> <laughs> and so basically, Nubs and I put the words into her mouth that she had called us that. In fact, I don't know that she ever did. But uh, <laughs> from then on, we became the degenerates. And then, All right. Uh, I, did oh. get, I did get the fact right that you were degenerates. You, yeah, that's that's that that's and straight up. Where you got the name degenerate. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. Just checking there. Yeah. 
just making sure that's accurate. <laughs> yeah, no, the, 100%. <laughs> um, oh, and then the other, the one other like big thing that I caught that was just like different, I guess, was at the end, the, the hike into Monson for us. So you, you mentioned that it's like, you know, text us and like, hey, fresh ground, if you can get here, whatever. And then, you know, I hiked like hell. As it turns oh, out, yeah. it, that was a complete coincidence. It was a coincidence. We didn't get your text. I didn't get the text until midnight when I showed up at the road. That's I was crazy. like looking back through our text history. Just really? to make sure I had, had, you had sent the text. Yeah, you sent it. But I didn't get them. Like my reply isn't until 11.59 the night of the day, you know, the day that you had sent the text. Oh, so it was just wow. like a really happy coincidence. And then I ran into you guys at the trailhead that next morning. And yeah. then we said like, not, you don't need to resupply. Yeah. yeah. We were like, they were, I didn't do the 40 miles because I lost my headlamp, but like the goal was just to do 40 miles to see if we could. Yeah. Just, just for the hell of it? Yeah. <laughs> it was a complete coincidence. It was just like one of those like, happy accident trail things work out for us yeah, yeah. Wow. really yeah. Mm -hmm. that's wild and i guess we never talked about it because i assume the only reason why you would hike 40 miles <laughs> yeah was and like i remember getting into camp that night camp meaning like crossing the highway finding a semi-level place to set up a tent and like crashing yeah. but like i remember going to bed looking at it, i was like oh sweet this is really cool. It's I but now I don't have to resupply through the hundred miles, and uh, yeah. So then, like, if you go back, I don't know if you still have it, but I do. But the text history is like, you sent something at like, I don't know, eight thirty in the morning, and then again at like three thirty in the afternoon, and then my reply is at eleven fifty nine p.m. It's just like, yes, we want food. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's yeah. really wild. Yeah. I guess we had no reason to talk about it until. Right. It was just like a, this is sweet. Because I remember as I was writing the book, I remember even texting you, asking you how many miles you did in that last yeah. little stretch, because I wanted to get those facts right. But I never asked you about like. The circumstances. Your side of the story. Yeah. Huh. But yeah, no, I, one of those, again, trail provides happy accidents. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's really crazy. Hey, Flea, we can't do video now. Can you get her to not do video just because of the Zoom call? Um, but uh, so what was it like? I mean, we're, we're, we're going on uh, Leia, Leia. three years. Shit, is that? Don't say that. Three, <laughs> three years since we started. Oh, yeah. Uh, what was it like? Um, I mean, you get off the trail and then you go back to regular life and it's, um, you know, it's like you forget a lot of stuff, but then of course you're trying not to forget. And then, I mean, what have the last couple of years been like for you guys? And then I guess I'm asking, I guess in context of the book also, like, did it spark memories or was there a lot that you had forgotten that, or did it give you some of the feelings of being back on the trail and stuff like that? I like actually wrote a bunch of notes in the margins of the book, just like stuff that I agreed with or points that I thought were good or just stuff that I thought was funny. Like what? <laughs> oh my goodness. I mean, some of it you probably finished reading 15 minutes ago. So that's. <laughs> hey, she texted me at 11:30 today and said she'd finished it. So. <laughs> Actually, I still have the last chapter to read, but she, yeah. works, she works best with a deadline. I really do. <laughs> While she pulls up the margins, I guess from my perspective, I think there was a lot of things that I don't have an issue remembering when it, like, when I call it up. Mm -hmm. But it's, you know, the book did a really good job of, like, making me call those things up. Oh, I said it was an asshole move to zero in a smoky shelter. Because <laughs> space people is that were so doing limited. That, yeah. Like, space is so limited to, like, have somebody who hiked in and, like, has to go sleep in their tent because you decided to not hike. It's just a little bit. So many people were, were zeroing there. I'm, I'm not really entirely clear about where we were with you guys 
on the trail, relatively speaking, at that point in time. So we ran into you guys, Dad. We ran into you guys on the on the ass end of the Smokies. That yeah. like we uh, in after the snowstorm. And I think we were only like a couple days ahead of you at that point. Oh, you were ahead of us. Because I remember seeing you and Kish coming out of Standing Bear. We were like trying to talk you guys into going. Yeah. You guys seem like these two mopey teenagers that like <laughs> I couldn't figure out. <laughs> Dude, I wanted to go into that hostel so bad. It was just like, no, um, he, this bitch wouldn't let me go into Franklin for St. Patty's. Wouldn't we hadn't taken a zero. We had taken, we hadn't taken a zero yet. We had narrowed in Hiawassee. Our first zero was hot springs. Mm -hmm. Like we, it was like the cold and the rain and the miserable. <laughs> and she like wouldn't let me take a day off. Yeah. <laughs> I remember. I think it was memory. It was like, "There's a hostel," and I was like, "Please." <laughs> yes, <laughs> You're like, can I hike with you guys? <laughs> you baby. <laughs> you have room in that tent. <laughs> Mine is falling down. So. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> oh my god. Yeah, I remember actually, like, because we had heard about you guys, and I remember like seeing you and be like, oh wow, that's cool, cool. It's nice, nice mm -hmm. to see you guys. And mm -hmm. then like we our pace was just like a little faster than you and i felt so uncomfortable like passing ben and you like you ben and cammy because i was like i don't want to be in between like a parent and their children <laughs> you've heard the story of mama I, grizzly bear <laughs> i was like i don't am i allowed to do this <laughs> i remember like, after you guys <laughs> went up that hill it was like super awkward because we were like going the same pace so you, we kept them like running into each other. It was yeah. like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you guys were like, like, like stop and wait. Like honestly, I think you guys like kids hiked faster than us, but they kept like stopping and waiting, and so we'd like keep passing each other. And I yeah. like, don't yeah. to talk to people. So I was like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I remember, I remember you coming up that hill from Sandy Bear, and Kish was just like, like <laughs> he was just like on a mission. <laughs> <laughs> for real which is so funny because in the beginning like kish was like she was up she's at a camp and then she would hike and then she'd get into camp and she'd be all set up and like i'd like drudge myself all day i'd just be like oh, why am i here why did i do this and by the end of camp like her ankles were bothering her so much that she was like the slowest person in our group and i was like keeping up with culligan for a while so yeah wow yeah and then, you know, then I hit the Smokies and you know, it broke my will. Yeah. <laughs> the, the whites. The whites, the whites broke my will. Oh, man. <laughs> didn't they, didn't they all? Yeah. For us. Gee whiz. So um, was, what was it like, like reading about yourselves yeah, from yeah. someone else's perspective? <laughs> Thank you. You like it? <laughs> I really liked it. I think the part that I liked or appreciated or learned the most was like, I think the effect that our group had on you guys. I mean, in the moment, it didn't seem did, yeah. like anything where it was just like, mm. you guys are all, also hikers and you're around us, so I'm gonna mock you and you know, just you know, <laughs> you know, like, I'm gonna be myself around everybody, right? Yeah. That's That's the whole point of the trail. There's and, like no ability to filter who you are while you're out in the wilderness like that. There's just no, it's like not possible. And like people who try are like, yeah, why, why? <laughs> like the only opportunity you're going to have to just like be authentic, so authentic and like just reconnect with yourself in a way that like, honestly, the trail reminded me that like, I have a sense of humor. And like, I'm, adventurous and fun you know like, <laughs> i came from a life of just work <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah well, yeah I'm, a so. major theme of the book is you know us quitting to go to the marathon and then feeling like we lost everyone socially that we were connected <laughs> to especially for the kids 
and then really kind of like busting our ass ever wondering if we were going to catch up every day like, i remember thinking like it's, i that was one of those things like <laughs> where i know we talked about it where it's like yeah we didn't take a zero in june and like i think at the time we're like oh that's awesome for you guys like <laughs> We've, we've been hung over for like a week but like you know I, it, I don't think i appreciated it at the time that it, like part of the reason that you guys had hiked like hell was to catch us and we yeah, i mean six zeros that month but, I mean, but like kudos to you guys i'm just i guess i'm i think i put it in the review that i wrote on amazon or whatever but i think what I really took and and learned from your guys's account was just like just how much other hikers can affect your own experience mm. right? I mean like when she was reading it this past weekend it was it was really nice because she would bring up you know points and that sort of thing um, and we would talk about it when which we hadn't done when I read the book but it was like it was one of those things where it's like how different would their experience have been or our experience have been without having met? Mm. And yeah, I mean, it, it just gave me an appreciation for that, I think. We also talk about that like within our own lives, like within our own trail family even. Because mm -hmm. like, it was just Kish and I for a really long time, just like pushing to do miles and not taking zeros and you know, like not going into town and like not having fun. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like running into the degenerates when we started hiking with them, it was like like our whole outlook on the trail completely like completely flipped. You know, like it went from like money was something to conserve. It was like you only have it once. Let's go into town and like yeah. let's, let's drink these beers and you know like mm -hmm. <laughs> like even just the like. I don't know. It's like the people that you meet kind of seems to make or break the hike. Like the people you decide are important, which is like cool because the trail is like the ultimate opportunity to just like be autonomous in your relationships. Mm -hmm. That's really fascinating how, um, yeah, you said when you and Kish met uh, the other three, how much that changed your dynamic. It was crazy. It was like, <laughs> Savior. It was like an immediate difference. Like as soon as they hiked into camp, because we met, we like met at after the Grayson Highlands. So they we like were in bed, like ready to go to sleep. It was dark. And they like come rocking in with their like headlamps and they're talking and laughing. And they just like looked like they were having so much fun. Yeah. And yeah, it was it was crazy. And then they like set up and they cooked dinner and we just like immediately hit it off like immediately kish and i and the rest of the degenerates were just like vibing and i was like these people are my people and i want to stay with them it was crazy what do you guys remember so in the chapter called trailer park friends about the brushy mountain grill yes yes, yes we're open yes yes we're open what? <laughs> <laughs> what do you remember about brushy mountain grill that was such when you describe that moment of just like everyone laughing, that was like really the first time. Well, that was one of the first times I feel like I experienced that with you guys. We yeah. had a reunion with Kish that day too. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, to your point, like what I remember is the day prior to Brushy Mountain was miserable. Like that oh, was that oh. really, really cold day. Was that when you were all cranky in your tent and you were passing out? <laughs> That was that night. Was oh, yeah. He, like, yeah, yeah. he just like stuck his head out of his tent to hang out with him. Yep. I was drinking gin and we hung out. But like, I almost that got pizzas delivered to that place. Oh, uh, yeah. I was, yeah. But like, that day of hiking was so miserable. And that was like the dude that had the teepee or whatever. Yeah. They were passing out like, food poisoning instead of trail magic. <laughs> and like, I just remember that was miserable, but then we got into camp and like everybody was like dry and warm. And it was, it ended up, even though I stayed in my tent and drank gin, but I was socializing. Like, <laughs> you know, we, we had a good, it like completely turned the day around. And then the next morning, like we heard you guys get up and then 
we we got up and broke camp and saw it scratched in the dirt the what was it like it? see you later see you at the store suckers or something <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> and then just like I remember just putting on speed to try and catch you guys and catching I think it was probably what Dove and Eden and memory <laughs> like 200 yards before the store I was like, catch you at the store, suckers. <laughs> Dude, that night before, that day before was so cold and miserable that just to be in that get a double wide trailer thing felt so Yeah, and then like, I mean, I've, I'm sure I've had better food. But at the it time, was not I couldn't just, like, to think of anything better than that food. When we were I think I spent like forty dollars there, just in like milkshakes and burgers, and like, like I'm gonna eat breakfast, and then I'm gonna eat second breakfast, and then I'm gonna eat lunch and dessert. <laughs> it was like so reasonably priced too. Like, oh, yeah, it was like a four dollar <laughs> burger. Oh my God. <laughs> like forty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that but and that was at the that was the first time that I like caught I think a little snippet of your guys's like story. I don't know, I don't remember who you were talking to, Ben, but I heard you mention that like you used to be a professional gambler. Mm -hmm. And I was like, whoa, that's <laughs> that's interesting. I gotta talk to him about that. <laughs> and then it was like, I don't know, probably a month or two later that we actually had a conversation about that. I think it was like a thousand miles later. Yeah. <laughs> it was like in the, I, I think it was in the 100 mile wilderness where you were really drilling him about. No, I think, well, it was, uh, it, was uh, it wasn't until after we got separated and met again. Okay. Right, it was, I think it was in like Vermont. Yeah. Oh, okay. That day that I like hiked half the day with you and just, you know, we talked blackjack. Yeah. yeah and harry potter, harry potter yeah. and harry potter yeah. the harry potter was in the hundred mile wilderness okay yeah. about harry potter? whether or not it was going to last as like a classic of literature oh it will yeah, don't get into it don't get into it i'm not i'm not rewriting the book for you it's too late <laughs> uh, but yeah i what about the uh what about the hundred mile wilderness and like, Ugh. I mean, that Fresh was, a, was a godsend. Yeah, Fresh Ground is an angel. I don't know how, like, I don't know how you resupply in Monson for that many days. But it was outrageous the lack of supplies that that town has, being the the town that's right before the longest stretch you have to go without like hitting in supplies. It was ridiculous. I'm so glad that Fresh Ground was there. <laughs> yeah. I remember trying to resupply even for the meals that we did have to resupply for, and I was like, what? Well, How? Well, How and, like, do people do that? Babyface got so lucky. I don't know if you caught oh, that God. side of the story, but Babyface was the only one who did the 41 with me the night before. But he like he was behind me, missed my tent, and like he was like six hours behind me. So he sh he rolled up to the road at like six o'clock in the morning, caught an immediate hitch down into Monson, did just like the world's shittiest resupply. <laughs> <laughs> and then went into the 100 miles with like a dead phone so he had no idea what time it was <laughs> literally laid down at the side of the trail and fell asleep for some unknown amount of time and then like we caught up to him that that night and like told him all about fresh ground he's like oh good because like i've got like six rice krispie treats and that's it wow. <laughs> he was like delirious trying to resupply he's like i didn't know if you guys had passed me like i thought there was some kind of like rip van winkle situation going on here <laughs> i i vaguely remember that that's that's really wow. wild oh my the trail provided for him too i guess huh but yeah, I, I remember um, like seeing you guys at the trailhead just as you were going into the 100 miles. And then I went down into Shaw's and saw, like happened to meet up with Fresh Ground and told him that, you know, you and I had talked and like, I was like, hey, the rest of the group's catching up. You know, I understand you're at the end of the, the season, you're running low on cash. And like, I gave him some cash and I was like, hey, like, Stock up, please. <laughs> 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 that was good. 
like that really like that just made the hundred miles so much more enjoyable honestly the hundred mile wilderness after the bigelows i feel like it was like the hike was just amazing and awesome and like there was all we got to go swimming and like every lake that you passed was beautiful and do you guys remember actually that we stopped in that watering hole right before on like the fourth of july Um, yeah oh were we there in that gorge right before rutland jump from high up Yeah. Yeah. yeah flower and you did a i just saw these pictures of you doing some crazy ass front flip back flop thing not me me you uh colgan (laughs) that sounds like me (laughs) (laughs) never graceful and then they tried to terrorize kish on the on the bridge (laughs) she's scared of oh my gosh i really do remember that (laughs) uh granite man yeah, Grand yeah, Man was Grand there. Because uh, he, he was killing the rock climbing, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, flower. Yeah. Flower, 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 flower yeah. That was flat one flower was still was hiking with us. Yeah. That was a tough day for us because, I mean, that kind of showed, like, the, you know, you guys went into town, but we were in our 53 no zero day stretch. And... Uh, <laughs> I mean, that day was hot as hell. <laughs> you guys have so much more grit than we do. Oh, my God. We stopped in literally every town we could. We were like, is that a town? We'll stop there. We'll it's only way. 30 miles off trail. We can hit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I like, I really envied that situation at that time because that, that day was so hot. Oh, oh my God. God. That was so awful to go to a town on the 4th of July. and just... We went into town and did laundry and drank beer and ate watermelon all day until it was time to go to the bars. <laughs> yeah. And then we went to the bars. That was a good time. Yeah. That day, uh, we oh. we went in and Fax's parents had used like frequent hotel points or whatever to get a couple of rooms for us because Fax's uh, partner came in and we had flour with us and then uh, Dad and I hitched from the hotel down into <laughs> Rutland with our packs, empty packs, and got what? A six watermelons. Six watermelons. Laundry detergent. Chips, chips and, and dip. dip. <laughs> and <laughs> came back. We each and carried then, three watermelons, a thirty rack, and some like some like snacks in our pack. <laughs> and then we came back, and everybody sat in bed and ate an entire watermelon, or at least int- attempted to. Yeah. I think Culligan was the only one yeah. who actually ate an entire watermelon. <laughs> but it honestly, you know, something I remember about trails, like I never was hung over on trail. I don't know. It was like magic. I get hung over so badly these days. But like on trail, I would drink all night and I'd be like drunk. Basically, I'd wake up feeling like I'm still drunk and I would start <laughs> hiking and I never got hung over. It was amazing. I never stayed in your system long enough. Like, <laughs> I never stayed in your system. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. So something I just was thinking of. I was just wondering, Ben and Cammy, if you guys remember when uh, it was that day that we, you guys stopped early in Vermont to, because we like stopped to like swim in the, in the lake and you guys stopped early because you wanted to. And we Stay like convinced you. We convinced oh, you. Oh yeah. 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 So which, which played a big part in the book, which I like at the time I was just like ribbing you guys into staying with us because I thought it would be fun. Yeah. And then, like that was one of the things I really like hit on in the book. I was like, oh shit, like that was kind of a in a big moment for them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> but uh well two things about that day, actually. There's two things about that day. Uh, do you guys remember when Kish and I had, we had to go back into town that morning for something. So we were behind the rest of the degenerates and we were hiking past you that day, like up those like ski hills, like they were like chairlifts. And we were in that area when you guys, you were like, Oh, you know, we've been wondering, is there like anything going on between anybody and like your group? Yes, I do remember that, that we were yeah. under the chairlifts. Yeah. And Kish and I were like, no, yeah. <laughs> no. That's it! And we were like hiked away really fast. We're like, no. 
Yeah, no, that was back when I still trusted you. And I was like, oh, if she's saying no, it must mean no. No, we were so embarrassed. We were so embarrassed because the kitchen knobs were like still hiding in their like little thing that they had going on. Yeah. And I just had like this huge crush on Culligan. I was oblivious. He was oblivious. And yeah. So it was like, we were like, absolutely not. I, I kind of figured since he was about 20 miles north, it would be okay. You wouldn't hear it if you were. He has a really good on. Yeah. Wink, wink. Granted, it might have been in the book then. Uh, <laughs> oh my God. No. So what was the other thing? But oh, it was. That's um, really funny that you remember that. That is like one of my favorite memories. I think about that all the time. <laughs> Now it really hit a nerve because you remember. <laughs> right. Well, and there was a reason why I asked you then instead of because it was, you know, you guys were always not always, but a lot of times you guys were in a group and it was kind of hard to have those types of conversations. But I remember being like, mm -hmm. "Oh, Ben, don't ask him that." Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, ben and I also was like, "Yeah, well, what is it?" <laughs> yeah, but like also, I wanted to. Know. So you were gonna. <laughs> You were, sorry, we cut you off. You were in the middle of apologizing for lying or something about that? <laughs> no, I forget. Hey, there was nothing going on between Culligan and I. I was a liar. Your head, that's all. It was all in my head. It was hopes and dreams. And again, I was oblivious. Yeah. <laughs> so, but also that night, my, like, we, we would take turns, like, getting water for our group. Okay. And yeah. my water bladders, they like all had holes in them. And I forgot to tell Culligan who went to get the water. I walked like a half mile back to yeah. get water. Yeah. So like my water bladders leaked all over him. And he gets yeah. back to camp and we were all sitting around the oh. like thing. And Culligan walks in and he's like, you bitch. Like, ah! and he's like yelling at me, like squirting me with water. And Cammy, like, I just remember Cammy's face being like, <laughs> I'm like, like until she realized, back off. Until she realized that he was like, it was like just a joke. That he was like mad, but not mad enough to like be actually screaming. And by a joke, we mean twenty percent a joke. Yeah, twenty yeah. percent a joke. <laughs> serious until it's only like five percent a joke. Yeah, it was just so like on the bear candy. Like, what did you say? I said, take a look at the mustache, and you decide if it's a joke. Yeah. <laughs> I remember talking about that night later on when we were in uh, whatever town that is in New Hampshire, right across the border. When you guys Hanover. came, Hanover. Oh yeah. When you guys came and like hung out in our hotel room on your anniversary. Yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. And Cammy talking about how she is like about ready to go mama bear. I was like, oh, hang on. I should probably <laughs> be, be more obvious that I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because it's like, you know, like I've been living with him for the last three months. So like I knew. <laughs> I remember the joke you made in that hotel room in response to that. Oh, what was it? There is an ongoing joke about the only male emotion being rage. Or uh, <laughs> well, my only emotion. His only emotion. His fuel and everything is just rage. <laughs> he used to, we used to call him like when he would like just like hike really fast. It'd be like his rage hype. Mm -hmm. yeah. was so did I get the accuracy of you listening to the Dis which Disney songs you were listening to? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and at the time I, because I I listened to music almost the entire time I hiked. Only, only twice on the entire trail did I ever have both earbuds in. And one was in the roller coaster because my tent had like filled with water the night before that, and was, I was, that was a true rage <laughs> hike and the second time was leaving the great falls connecticut because i like had a fever and was just like feeling crummy and that had uh an emotionally impactful you day lost before. your underwear the day before i i lost my underwear the, that day oh. the day before i had that incident with the deer but <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, oh yeah and, and, yeah <laughs> and then like I was just in a bad mood that day but no I looking back I like never remembered like singing a whole lot and then I was like wait no that was like what I did when I passed the family 
because I wanted to like be friendly and not in a rage. <laughs> so I was like, let's get down to business. <laughs> yeah, was, let's get down to business and uh, the be prepared. Uh, Lion King. Ah, oh. yes. Uh -huh. What was it like for you guys hiking with um, a group with kids in it? Was that? I'm so, I'm not great with kids, uh, <laughs> but like I just I just pretended like I just ignored the fact that I needed to be anything other than who I was. So, because yeah. you know, like normally when you're around kids, you're like you have to like talk to them, like you gotta talk, like really? you gotta like be like talk down. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know much about kids. <laughs> But I just decided that they weren't children. They had walked far enough that they weren't children, and I could be what I wanted to be. And I, I guess I look at it the same way, where it's like there are kids that I would have changed how I talk to them, or what I talk to them about, or you know, my demeanor. And then there were your guys' kids that were just like, yeah. Your hikers, like, yeah, like my feet hurt. How do yours feel? Like, <laughs> you know, let me put it this way on Hike Naked Day, I walked by a group of outward bound children, <laughs> and I was mortified that these poor kids who are like trying to have an outdoors experience are just bombarded with my nudity, <laughs> you know. But like, if I had passed your family, I would be like, okay, guys, how's it going? Okay. Good to see you. Yeah. <laughs> see you <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I think like as a theme in our hike and the book that that was a really big deal, I think, um, because we felt really weird having kids. Partially, it was like probably our baggage and also things we had heard and things we had people had said. So there was just like probably a sensitivity there of people either like being repulsed by kids or like us not able to connect with other hikers because they treat them like they almost like pander to them. And one of the most special things I think about you guys for us was I felt like we got the full AT experience with <laughs> friends because we didn't want the dumbed down version. You yeah. Know? Well, yeah, I mean, I think version. I think that was probably equal parts you guys though, because you never I mean, like, corrected us about anything. Right. Like, like you never told us to like stop swearing. You never were like, these are our children. <laughs> <laughs> there was no protection yeah. there. It was like, yeah, like they were like he's a little like, weird. <laughs> like, you know, see that mustache, don't get too close. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like you didn't have to protect your kids from us, and they like they didn't make a scene at camp. Yeah, you, know? you guys never like even like Felia and Rainier really. They were like the young children who you, like. Another comparison I'll use. I showed up to a shelter, and there was a day hiking family, and their kids were like running around, and they were loud, and they were like cooking marshmallows, and they didn't offer me any. And, <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. No. So like, I know you're gonna shit talk them now. <laughs> yeah, it's like okay, this is a problem. <laughs> and like, like they just didn't fit in with the like, you know, they hadn't hiked 20 miles that day, so they had all this energy to burn, and they had all this like excitement and loudness, and and they didn't know how to connect on like a hiker level. And they didn't want to connect on a hiker level, you know, like, mm. but like you guys, you wanted to be there. You wanted to be a part of the trail. Like I wasn't talking to a day hiker. I wasn't talking to like some kid that I was being forced to socialize with. Like I was like, <laughs> I was just talking to another hiker. Yeah. That's how it was yeah. for me. And I, I guess, I don't know that I've ever told you guys, but like I saw one of your videos before the trail. Oh, yeah. Have I ever told you this story? I don't know. Which video? I think you might have Maybe. mentioned it. Yeah, I, I saw it was like the one thing that, that sticks out to me was like you guys going through your gear list maybe and like talking about the number of spare socks and how it was like the kids 
feet sizes are similar enough that you can like share spare socks. And I remember thinking like, this family isn't going to make it, you know, three days. <laughs> and then I ran into you guys at Blood Mountain. And mm -hmm. I talked to you, Ben, because you were talking about getting a cabin. And I had just like called those people and they were like closed for the day because I think it was a Sunday or something. And you're like, fuck, I gotta yeah. hike, I gotta hike it. <laughs> and like, you guys had been able, because you were, you know, you had planned ahead and had gotten this all arranged. And so I ended up doing something different. But I like met you guys and I was like, came away from that conversation. I was like, you know, I really didn't like them from that video, but you know, now having met them, they're kind of likable. And then that was like every interaction I had with you. I like ran into you guys a couple days later and you were like, are like sitting basically across the trail. And I remember like Cami and Rainier were like wrapped in a sleeping bag. Mm -hmm. And I was like, God, these people are some grit. And then like every interaction, I was like, these people are damn likable. Like, <laughs> damn my preconceived yeah. notions. Like, I mean, I, I can hate on people with the best of them, but yeah, it was, I mean, you That's, guys, it was just, once meeting people. you in person, it was like so hard not to just <laughs> really, really like you guys. The only people I ever met who like didn't like you were people who hadn't actually met you. Mm -hmm. They were all people who had just like heard that you'd been airlifted out of the Smokies. Oh right. I was in Gatlinburg when that which rumor wasn't came true, down. right? Like yeah, that would have been well, nice, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I wish that rumor was true. It, like it's all these people who just heard like the because you know I mean like the trail is like a big rumor field. <laughs> We met somebody, actually, this is not about you, it's about us, but like, we met somebody who, like, the rumor about our family, the degenerates, was that, like, we were, like, horrible to be in camp with, we, like, we would go into towns, and we were rude to people, and we'd, like, leave trash everywhere, and we'd, like, that's trash hostels. That's what you heard about us? No, that's what we told people about oh, you. Yeah. <laughs> Well, they were just guarding us. They didn't they want were, us to become want, friends with other people. They didn't want competition. Uh, <laughs> I just remember her being like, oh, you guys are the degenerates? Like, oh my God. <laughs> I can't believe you guys are actually nice people, you know? Like, <laughs> no offense, we didn't choose the best Trammelly name. <laughs> <laughs> it could but have been that, horrible citizens. <laughs> or, yeah. <laughs> which wouldn't have been accurate, but would have been better PR. <laughs> it would have been, you know? Yeah. Yeah, like I feel like you guys got a bad rap from the rumors, you know. Mm -hmm. Before we met you, like the rumors up and down the trail were like, well, were crazy. I, yeah, I had heard all this like, because like we'd never been in camp with you before Damascus, basically, or yeah. right after Damascus. And I remember like hearing all about like, oh yeah, you know, they come into shelters and it's, you know, they're really disruptive and the kids are all over and blah blah blah. And then like coming out of Damascus, we shared that campsite and you guys rocked in and like within 15 minutes, the tents were set up, you know, dinner was on the fire. Like you were sharing cake. I was like, this isn't true at all. <laughs> Specifically that you were sharing cake. Yeah, no rumors talked about them sharing cake. Nobody told us about the cake. <laughs> That was, I think that was the first night, I think I had a cigar by that river thing. Mm. Uh, but I don't think I gave you a cigar until the 100 Mile Wilderness. Yeah. Uh, no, we smoked a cigar in Vermont when you guys caught up to us at that shelter when I was oh. in bed. You talk about it in the book. The and first like, night, yeah. You guys rocked up. I was like, holy shit, it's them. Like, yes. Ben? Oh, <laughs> that was so <laughs> Dude, how epic oh. did that turn out in the book? Right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, but like, that's how it always happens. Like, I feel like you always just like walk into a shelter expecting to like go to, to sleep and you see somebody you haven't seen in months. Like, <laughs> I, in Harper's Ferry, I stayed two extra days in Harper's Ferry after a three-day vacation in D.C. <laughs> for a dumb reason. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, um, I was like, I was hiking 23 miles a day to catch up with the rest of the de de degenerates. And I like, I had done the half gallon challenge that morning after hiking 10 miles and I still had 14 miles to go. And I, I like hiked with my belts on like buckled for 
two miles and then it started raining on me and I hiked seven miles in the rain and I get to a shelter and I'm like, this shelter is a half mile off trail. And you know me, normally I don't go any farther than I absolutely have to. No bonus miles. No bonus. I, every mile I hike each day is the only mile I can hike that day. <laughs> and like Coley and I've been leaving me notes. So I like was like, fuck it, I'll go. And I went down into this into this shelter and I like come around the corner and I see somebody I hadn't seen since the Smokies. I was like, oh, fuck clockwork. Like what the hell? Mm -hmm. And it took me like a full double take to realize that the rest of my trampoline was also in that shelter. <laughs> and I had caught up to them. Wow, what a moment. <laughs> yeah, it was great. And like, I just imagine like that feeling with you guys. I didn't go to Dragon's Tooth because it was 500 feet off the trail. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, screw it. Fuck it. It's not worth it. No bonus miles. No bonus miles. I remember like day hikers would come by and be like, oh, it's a really pretty view up there. And I'd be like, please don't talk to me yeah. unless you have Snickers. Like, please go away. No. There is a tax to talk there to me. There is a tax. <laughs> You've not paid it. Yeah. Is there a Snickers bar at the end of that? Because uh, I don't yeah. care about the view. Right. Is there trail magic? Like, I'll go up for trail magic. Yeah. Oh, for real. Oh. Yeah. So what's life been like for you guys since the trail? Yeesh. <laughs> I mean, finished the book. <laughs> that yeah, kind of that the was biggest, a the big thing. That was a big accomplishment. I mean, the kids, you know, they're um I think when when we were hanging with you guys, uh that they were 16 and <laughs> oh, Eden's going away. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> um you know, they were what our oldest was 17, you know, so now Dove's 20. So it's just kind of this. 19. Almost uh, 20. Yeah, it's just kind yeah, of. Like this, a 21st birthday party. It was like, we, we still degenerate, you know. <laughs> he probably that would, would want to. Um, well, you know, the only other thing we didn't talk about was the, uh, was my birthday party. In oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, that was actually. And the day. Really? So we never mentioned um wow. we never mentioned any extracurricular <laughs> ties. Well, one, that, like, because, was... one because you lied to me um about it. <laughs> and two uh two uh I just didn't, you know, I figured it's kind of you guys' business, but I don't know if that's kind of a you know funny update. We never a lot of people don't realize that you guys are together after the oh, trip yeah. <laughs> and met on the trail. Right. I yeah. love telling people. Anytime I talk about cold I'm like, oh yeah, and I met uh, on the Appalachian Trail because I hiked the Appalachian Trail. If you yeah. know the Appalachian Trail that I did. So, <laughs> we hiked like, you know, 1700 miles together, give yeah. or take, you know. It took me five months of hiking in the wilderness. I don't know if you wanted to hear about that. Maybe you could ask me some questions. <laughs> it isn't, that yeah. would be a funny okay. video, which it, which you could do for your YouTube channel <laughs> that I've been trying to get you to start now for three years. I know, but like now, like all I would have that's funny to talk about is like EMS calls and that's like a HIPAA violation. <laughs> so I'm like... Okay, fine. But what are, that little skit thing you just did about bringing up the Appalachian Trail, it's every time anyone talks about walking a tree, <laughs> being yeah. hungry. Right. Oh, it's I tell you that time I was really hungry. <laughs> <laughs> have you heard about the Appalachian Trail? I don't know. Yeah. Can I tell you about it? Yeah. That's really funny because well, it is one of those things. You're going outside? I've been outside before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So for those that don't know what we're talking about, uh, Not Dead was, I, I thought you were one of the funniest people I had ever met. And <laughs> probably what, three times told you yeah. that you should start a YouTube channel. My mom read that in your book and she has been hounding me. Really? <laughs> yeah, because my mom also thinks I'm very funny. Good. I don't know what that says, but. <laughs> your parents read the book? Uh, she read part of it. She read the parts that I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> she's kind of like you, where she's like, oh, I'll do the bare minimum. <laughs> <laughs> like, honestly, I didn't even know about the Yeah, that. I could probably be done by 725. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, she um she agrees with you. She sent me a book when I was living in Costa Rica, she like mailed me a book, which is expensive to like ship a book internationally. Yeah. She mailed me a book about how to write comedy. Wow. Yeah, she's a psycho. 
<laughs> I think it's great. Um, I still hope you do something. Um, but yeah, we, um, you know, life has kind of been, I don't know, back to our normal, I guess, in a little way. And um, we're like talking about doing some trails this summer. Um, like long trails or day hikes? Uh, not day hikes. Not day hikes. <laughs> Nobody but, likes day hikes. <laughs> but we're not ready to hit a really long trail yet, we realized, because Rainier is in this place where it's almost the, five, but too heavy to carry, but not big enough to walk. Exactly. Yeah. So we're thinking. Do the long trail. We're thinking about yeah, we're thinking about doing um a big one like the PCT maybe in twenty two, but mm -hmm. but this year we're talking about doing like maybe the John Muir Trail or the Wonderland Trail, like some of those types of things. It's just been a bitch with um COVID and permitting and. And yeah, you have to get like a permit. There's like a lottery system. So who knows if we would get it, but. But you know, the last two years we've been going out to um, winding stair gap-ish, like rock gap mm -hmm. and uh, doing trail magic. And that's been like really fun. I, we, so the, the trailer park boys did trail magic. At, uh, uh, what, what fall? I don't know. They did trail magic the year after we finished the trail and Culligan and I were supposed to go and it was going to be like a whole weekend. We we're going to stay in an Airbnb. It was going to be great. We we're going to feed yeah. hikers. Um, but it didn't work out. It didn't work out because I was in paramedic school and like my internship started. So we actually haven't been back to the AT at all. Yeah. Yeah. Since we finished. That's not true. I was back in October. Oh, after yeah, we finished. I went back through, uh, <laughs> oh, that place right the last town right before Maine I went back I was in Maine in, in October following North Conway? no not North Conway Gorham Gorham oh and I was there I was like hey like here's the trail like right here is where I hitched into Gorham and you know oh. we didn't have to hitch yeah because I came and picked you up with moose oh you had to hitch I didn't yeah. have to hitch. <laughs> like we did 30 well actually we did 30 miles for the wildcats Oh, that was a miserable day. It was a miserable wait, day. Wildcats are crazy. Wait, recently? Yeah. Like since? No, 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 no. That, we, when we were on the AT, we did 30 miles through the Wildcats in one day. It took me. Oh, in one day. day. Yeah. We yeah, did 30 miles. We went day. from that Pinkham Notch Visitor Center yeah. all the way across the Wildcats. I don't know if it was 30. I think it was, it was like 22. Oh, yeah. It was, it was 20 miles. We but, did uh, all 20 miles of the Wildcats in one day. Yeah, but it felt like 30 and I didn't get in until 11 p.m. that night. <laughs> but the reason we did that was so we could catch up to the trailer park boys and have a party at the main border. Oh, oh I remember that because that, that took you out of commi yeah. commission, right? For a little bit. That took a, uh, it was like how Nubs and Kish ended up splitting off from us. Yeah. Oh, okay. They got sick. But uh, yeah, no, we've been talking about doing trail magic like all the time. Basically, any time I get it again. I think we're doing it again in March. Really? Yeah. I'm not allowed to take PTO at my new job until August, but if it coincides with one of my weekends, I will be there. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I, if you guys want, I can send you the information. It's it was really fun because, you know, this is uh, what is this? It's do you know the mileage? I feel like it might be around mile 105 of the entire trail. So it's Wait, like I have my guide. Oh, there you go. It's just outside of Georgia. You know, right. people cross that uh, right. Georgia that day. That And they also cross that 100-mile um, marker that day. So it's like people are fresh. They're freezing their ass off. Mm -hmm. You know, it was right in that place where it was so bleak and Isn't cold. Right before, right before um, Standing Indian? Right there around Standing Indian? I don't know where Standing Indian is. It's three miles before the exit you would take for Franklin. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, right there by Wallace Wyoming. Gap. Wallace Gap. Yeah. That, that's uh, three I think it's Rock Gap. Rock Gap. Oh, or, Rock Gap. Um, that is also a gap, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Along with a hundred other gaps. Um, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it was such a fun way to like, <laughs> like almost, you know, because when you drive past a section of trail, it's hard to really experience it because you're not going to feel the things you felt 
three years ago, but, mm -hmm. but when you're around other hikers that are hungry and they're like crying when they see food and stuff like that, it's like, mm -hmm. oh yeah, that's what this was like. Yeah. Well, speaking of trail, trail magic, you talk in your book about uh, getting breakfast with MacGyver. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, so I was actually there too that day. Oh, wow. And like- At the same time? Well, so I had come in, that night. what day did you guys start? The first, March okay. 1st. So I must've passed you at some point that day because mm -hmm. I got in. Um, what day did you start? I'm, I started the second. I started the sixth, just so everyone knows. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I, I got down into the, the Gooch Gap shelter and then somebody came up hiking southbound, just like from the gap. Yeah. I was like, hey, there's this dude that's setting up trail magic down like there. Like in a mile. Yeah, and I was like, well, it's two o'clock in the afternoon. I like have already done my miles, but I'm gonna do another mile so I can go in and have a burger. Yeah. And then I went and camped in that gap and like had the best trail magic night. Like it was just food and beer and everything. And then that next morning, like they were cooking breakfast and I ate a quick breakfast and then MacGyver pulled me off to the side and I, I think you guys mentioned like him talking, like giving you words of encouragement too. But yeah. like he pulled me off to the side. He's like, hey, I've been doing this several years now. Like I connect with a lot of hikers. It's like, I can, I, I have a pretty good track record of being able to call the ones that have the stuff to make it to Maine. It's like, I think you've got it. Like, you know, you've got a good attitude. And like, that was just such a spirit lift as I like hiked away and I had a couple friends that I'd made and they were faster at the time than I was, I was which like, is inconceivable I was like god like <laughs> I'm really out of shape like I'm not gonna make it to Maine but then it was just this really you know uplifting thing for him to have said mm. and you know it, I don't know I I really it really meant a lot to me that he said that and that I had that experience yeah mm -hmm. and to it then turn around and hear the story that like because he told the story about how like yeah, I did it in 2015. It rained on us. It was just miserable. I got to this gap and there's this dude, his name's Fresh Ground. Yeah. Like, whatever. And then I met Fresh Ground for the first time Vermont. in Vermont. Yeah. And I was like, you're Fresh Ground. Like, yeah, you inspired the dude who inspired me. And like, you know, yeah. you have this huge impact that I'm, I hope that you're aware of it, mm -hmm. but you Fresh know, it just the cannot be overstated yeah fresh ground i was gonna quit in maine i was gonna yeah i was gonna get off trail we had finished the whites and i was ready to go home mm -hmm. i was hiking one mile an hour every day for the last like 15 days and i was miserable and it was it was a combination of fresh ground and hops actually hops is like a trail wizard yeah he's like a wizard <laughs> we don't he like always pops up whenever you need him yeah and like yeah, like I came to the road and there was like Pee Wee was there and like he was cooking and he was like about to clean up and I like showed up and he like made me food and hmm. he just like he was like a, the eye of the storm, you know, just like a calm place to sit for a second and uh -huh. like yeah. regroup. Yeah. <clears throat> and I asked him if he could take me into town. I was like, hey, can I get a ride into town? Like I'm going home. <laughs> I am ready to leave. Yeah. And he's like, honestly, I'd take you, but I don't have room. I don't have room in my car. Yeah. I had to hike 10 more miles <laughs> that day to catch up with the It's a the good generation. thing he was driving stink bug thing, then. Yeah, it's a good thing he had Pee Wee with him because Pee Wee was like the passenger. So he, oh. he like, with all his gear, he couldn't take me into town. Yeah. So I had to hike 10 more miles to hit the road to catch up with Culligan. And like two miles in, after I'd cried for two miles, been two miles crying. I ran into Hops and Hops was like, you're really great. I don't even remember specifically what he said, but I just remember like, yeah. after I talked to him, I, I like felt back to my normal self. Like I was able to hike like at a normal pace. <laughs> like it was amazing. I just think about uh, that. We filmed people. MacGyver for our vlog. And, and then it was like four months later after we had met Fresh Ground that someone said in our vlog video that we released four months earlier, he said that he was inspired by a guy named Fresh Ground. But because mm -hmm. I didn't know the name, I didn't really pay attention to it. Like it didn't mean anything to me. 
So it didn't register when he said it. And then I, I didn't find out about it until four months later that he had said that to us. And it's on, I have it on video. So it's kind of crazy because like I didn't hear it the first time around. Right. I didn't even know who he was when I met him. I had no idea who Fresh Ground was. Yeah. I had like heard like I think like that day or the day before I had heard a couple other hikers be like, yeah, Fresh, I ran into Fresh Ground. He's in the area. And I was like, cool. Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> Does he have food? Yes. Yeah. Super cool. <laughs> like, right. I'm into it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's crazy how like he's like a trail legend. I know somebody who hasn't even hiked the trail who ran into them while they were like section hiking, or just like on a weekend hike. And got were you fit. guys aware of that story? Because we that time that we had our birth, my birthday celebration. Oh yeah, we got off topic on that. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, we got separated for a while. That yeah, that was that going. Was, I think from that until the hundred a uh, hundred mile wilderness, mm-hmm. and um. So we were actually ahead of you guys for a chunk there. But anyways. We stopped in North Conway, North Conway for three days. <laughs> you got a scholarship or, or yeah, something? Yeah, I got a scholarship for paramedic school. Yeah. And was it, it was a rain. It was mostly well, it the was rain. It was forecasted rain, and then it was like beautiful weather. <laughs> yeah. Dude, we hiked uh, through that every single day. Yeah. Um, which is what made it work out, I think. But anyways. Uh, that parking lot experience, there was um, uh, this girl that was like visiting, or she was visiting someone, but she, no, wasn't... she was visiting facts. Visiting facts. Yeah. One of Fax's people. She was a uh, she was on trail crew for in the, the lights. lights. Yeah. Oh, that was yeah. one of okay. But she said like, I want to hike the Appalachian Trail now or something. After seeing yeah. all of us just like hang out, she was like, if this is what it's like. I want to do it, <laughs> which is but like think, super accurate in one sense, and then like, well, yeah, I mean, it just leaves out the misery. Yeah, the misery is like what makes those moments so fun, though. You know, like if you hadn't have hiked through just like wretched cold and awful rain and up those stupid fucking mountains, and yeah. like down that horrible descent oh that was God. right before that parking lot, it was literally just like cliffs of rock. <laughs> like if you hadn't have done that, like. Wouldn't have been fun. It would have just been like sketchy oh. stairway alongside that waterfall. Yeah. yeah. These like weird wood coming things. down Musala. It's all everything's wet, and you're like, why? Why is it wet? It hasn't even <laughs> rained in like a week. <laughs> it's still wet. <laughs> yeah. Your birthday was so much fun. It was fun. I love. I I love. We have a video of you being taught how to shotgun a beer. <laughs> oh yeah. It's in our. And we Cole again every- said, I think it was Caitlin, like, what are you doing? Like, doing <laughs> something, like, not the right way or something. <laughs> oh, I think it was, so- it was not, it was not well taught and even worse executed, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it was a good time. Then the a little practicing since then, I'll have you know. And oh, every I'll birthday. I'll need video proof of this. Dev's every birthday. birthday. What's that? Every birthday, I've done it since then. Really? really? That is yeah. great. So I'm, up, I'm up to three shotguns now, which is probably what you guys were doing per weekday <laughs> on the trail. But I can't you know, shotgun. We're all making our own little dent in the universe in our own way. <laughs> oh my God. No, I can't shotgun, but I'm a fan of a beer bomb. <laughs> okay. So I'll bring that to Dub's 21st. <laughs> when we get an invite i'm excited I mean, she would probably she would probably love that um yeah. did you guys hear about how we uh did you guys meet eddie and cat at all yes yeah. we love eddie and cat so what we, are they dub and i eddie and, eddie and, uh, and, uh, oh what is her roomy roomy that's right okay we went to yeah. um new york dub and i did for dub's 18th birthday i read that oh, in the nice. book nice like I surprised her. Yeah, it's at the very end. I surprised her with plane tickets, like to go to New York, and we didn't have a place to stay, like because we didn't know where we were gonna go. We, we <laughs> went to buy Dove shoes, and then um, and then. Wait, is that the reason you went to New York to buy her shoes? Yeah. And to have pizza. Well, I ended up pizza. Yeah, I told because we were there for like eighteen hours or twenty four hours or something. It was short. Yeah. Um, but then I text Eddie and Cat to see if we could just hang out with them and and see them. 
And uh, they said, well, you could just stay at our place. So we go there and we're like, what are you guys doing tonight? And Eddie's like, well, if it wasn't, if you guys weren't here, I'd be jamming at the local jazz club. And we're like, let's go. <laughs> so we went to this like crazy underground. I mean, this is all felt like this underground New York, Scene. tiny ass jazz club with people just show up with their instruments yeah. and just go That's nuts. Sweet. And That's Dubs sweet. 18, by the way, the day she turned 18. So like she's what, three years before drinking age or even being allowed to be in a bar. And Eddie's like, oh, don't worry about it. I know the people. Yeah. And then we watch Eddie like totally jam out on his saxophone. I mean, it was like, it was like the best New York slash Appalachian Trail reunion experience we could have ever imagined. Yes. I just like, I think back to all the like really cool, interesting people I met where it's like, I met, you know, Detail who was like, platinum blazing the entire trail after having hiked a couple hundred miles the year before and like like the day I met him he offered me a hot towel that he had these like tiny little pill you know dehydrated towels then he heated up water oh hot towel I'm like we're in the wilderness like what are you doing <laughs> and then like you know meeting um hops who's like the former director of the boston uh, aquarium also, hops used to was like the the trail organizer of one of the trails that i used to practice hike in michigan the potawatomi like he was like oh you're from michigan right. you know the pot and i was like yeah i know the pot that's my first <laughs> trip like what i did get kicked out of potawatomi casino what's that i did get kicked out of potawatomi casino <laughs> <laughs> it's on the list. It's on the list. Or you're on their list. I'm on their list, yeah. Yeah. Well, cool guys. Anything else you want to mention or say or update or? I like the way you described me as crass. <laughs> like hell like, yeah. You like that? <laughs> I did. I thought it was funny and accurate. So. <laughs> also, did. if someone was gonna play me in the movie, it's uh, Kristen Wiig. Who? Kristen, Kristen Wiig. <laughs> Who's that? Do I know? Who's that? And oh, right. no. No. oh yeah. Okay, I'm not like very good yes. with actors' names, but yeah, that was one of the questions. If it if the book gets turned into a movie, yeah, who would play you? Oh my gosh, I feel like I know who would play you now. <laughs> All right, I want to I want to hear it because oh. I have a. Do you want to tell yours first? Nope. No, okay. we want to hear what you have to say. Uh, Chris Pratt. Oh. Oh, oh my God. That would be perfect. I can see that. Yeah, that would be really I, perfect. I'm, I'm not good at this game, but when I see your face yeah. right now, I'm like, <laughs> yeah. oh, yeah. <laughs> see that? I was going to say Shia LaBeouf. Yeah, but, but uh, I think Chris yeah. Pratt. Chris yeah. Pratt. Yeah, probably. All the actresses that I was thinking of are like now, they're like like 50 now. <laughs> And I was like, no, maybe I want to maybe that wouldn't work. Like Kristen Wiig is, I'm pretty sure she's like mid 40s. Yeah. I don't know any of the young actresses these days. But I think she would accurately capture the Aunt Dead. Yeah. I think she would accurately. Yeah. I am an actual Aunt Dead now, though. You? Oh, you are? Oh. Yeah, I'm an actual Aunt Dead. My sister had a baby last <clears throat> March or April. April. April, I think. Yeah. And she actually calls me Aunt Ted, which I love. Really? <laughs> oh, that's so cute. The kid can't talk yet, but my sister calls me Aunt Ted to her. Yeah. Her, her daughter's name is Reagan. So. <laughs> well, if we are uh, driving west this summer, it'd be fun to stop by Denver. Swing on by. We, I actually have, because like that was one of my big regrets is that we never like connected when you came through coming, I think, back from Washington after the trail. And I was in like this tiny little studio apartment. It was like, oh. there's room for me and yeah. two people, but not you know, eight. Yeah. And uh, but yeah, now we have like a full spare bedroom yeah, and like we have a spare bedroom and a couch. Bedroom. You wouldn't even probably need to bring sleeping pads. Wow. Because we have our own. That's fine. <laughs> nice. You pass yeah. us the gin from the bedroom. <laughs> you can. Yeah. We'll all drink gin. You can set the tent up in the in the living room. Yeah. Well, hey guys, it was, it's really, you know, I think I might have told you a little bit, but it was really uh, fun 
having the experience of writing the book and going through the journals and the videos and reliving the moments that you guys played a really big uh, role in. And I mean, that was my project for a lot of years, you know, the last two years was just working through that stuff. And I mean, there was so much more that didn't make it in the book, obviously, that you guys <clears throat> probably saw. like the spider thing. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's hard to it's hard to work that into like a book that's at least semi about parenting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Your book was like so wholesome. It would have been like it would have like stuck out weirdly. <laughs> You guys are like so great, so wholesome, and then like we also force someone to eat a spider. So that might show how crass you are because you're the first person that's called it wholesome. <laughs> really? So if that's your so if wholesome. That's, if that's your standard of wholesome, then uh, good job. Yeah, I don't know what that says about us because I came away from it like yeah, like you know, it's really all about togetherness and like you know, valuing your family and, you know, coming to closer together and all that. And then, yeah, apparently it's not wholesome. Who doesn't think it's wholesome? <laughs> Who are those? What are their, what are they thinking? The only way you have a few wholesome. bad words and beer and I don't know. There's just people out there that. Oh. You know, my family, we know how to celebrate holidays. And wholesome includes beer. <laughs> it includes the alcohol yeah. and you know, ring a fire and flip cup and beer pong, you know? Okay. That's wholesome. Yeah. <laughs> you do it together. <laughs> I'm gonna Google Ring of Fire after this. I don't know. Dove's twenty first. Twice we will be there. <laughs> okay. Just so you know, you're I mean, not you, you can't not to, invite us. We invite ourselves. Teach you ring of fire. <laughs> <laughs> we'll teach you ring of fire. Yeah. Um, but no, it was really fun uh, going through all those memories with you guys and the process of writing the book. And I'm I'm super happy to have it released and really glad that you guys took the time to read it. And it was really fun reading it. It was really fun reading it. It like brought back so many memories and like, yeah, I don't know. makes me want to read my trail journal again. Yeah. That's what I was going to finish mine. What? Makes me want to finish my trail journey. I still have 10 days to journal, but I think I'll get there someday. <laughs> yeah. I think you need I'm a deadline. In, I'm in like Harper's Ferry in mine. Yeah. Well, yeah, because I was going to ask you, Dead, like Culligan, I feel like you had this, like, the way your mind worked, you knew you had these dates memorized and towns like locked in. I never did. I mean, I, oh. I'm pretty lost without the trail journal and the maps and I had the guidebooks out and all of it uh and was like I'm mean, always trying to figure out where the heck we were on which night and like you know I'm I'm glad we wrote it down every single night but I don't remember any of those names I remember I like know. songs on uphills like specific uphills like I'll hear a song and I'm like oh, oh wow. yeah that I was that to day it's that, yeah yeah <laughs> I can remember specifically what we did in a day. If I can remember what we did in a day and I can remember the area of the trail we were in. And if it was like really iconic, I can remember like what it looked like. I can picture it, but I can't remember any names of anything because he's always like, oh yeah, why a ball? And I'm like, yeah, I don't know. where was that? I know. <laughs> I can kind of remember it with like pictures and I can remember it uh, based on what food I ate there. Mm. Also, okay. The red. Ramen. I'm really offended, actually. You guys don't like ramen bombs. Oh. Who the hell are you? Okay. Um, I might have been. I might have been exaggerating a little bit for the book, just to be honest. Because <laughs> right. I actually really. Oh, the truth it. comes out. You're but a liar now. <laughs> the thing is a lie. Uh, but Dove and some of the other kids like really hated them. Uh, but I have never had a problem with them. I love ramen. The butter. mashed potatoes or the the noodles, but no one would make them in our family because they the rest of them hated them. That's actually how we met. <laughs> she had double ramen. Bomb. Double ramen bombs. Whoa! Right. <laughs> that sounds like a good anniversary. Uh, uh, oh, that would be sweet celebration. Well, except I'll never do that again. It was the destiny of a dime star, and I almost died. <laughs> Have there been any talks, um, final question, have there been any talks of future nude calendars? 
Uh, Cause I know you probably were asked, gonna ask Mr. And Mrs. July if we were willing to do it again. <laughs> um, I mean, if you, if you hike the PCT, I don't expect a picture. Okay. <laughs> um, we, we tried. Yeah. We tried. I, I tried to get it going for 2019 and then- Nobody submitted. Uh, we have like five submissions. We had five. I feel kind of bad about that because I just kind of ghosted them after we didn't have enough to fill out a calendar. I was like, received nudes yeah. and then did nothing with them. Like solicited nudes from people <laughs> and then did not do what he said he would do. Uh, yeah, that's not great. But uh, I'll bet you people that give you nudes would probably rather you did nothing with them than something else though with them. <laughs> right. right. I mean, like it's either a calendar or nothing. Or but, uh, <laughs> yeah, it was fun though. Like I sent it out and I got, I sent, I sent one to, oh, I forget the name of the, the hostel in Hot Springs. Um, the calendar? I sent a calendar there and then I got an email from somebody who was like friends with a dude that runs a B&B. &B in hot springs and they wanted one else. who's like this like 90 year old guy and he's like oh like or this person was like oh i'm friends with i think his name's elmer or something yeah and uh we're you know we the hostel people you know the the trail you know enthusiasts of hot springs you know we get together for coffee and you know somebody from the hostel brought your calendar <laughs> and you know Elmer just loved it and wanted to know how he could get a copy. <laughs> Did he perhaps mention Mr. and Mrs. July at all? No. <laughs> I mean, I gave like, one to my entire family. I gave one to my 92 year old grandma who is like, who doesn't, who is the least crass person you've ever met. Like, and I was like, Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my entire family got one as well, including yeah. both my grandmothers. I found that my parents were occasionally taking the calendar down from hanging in their kitchen when they would have people they didn't know very well over. Are you so, serious? Oh, yeah. It better not have been during them. July. Yeah. I caught them in <laughs> August. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I like, I like purposefully like put it back up when we had company over one day just as I was like can't be ashamed of me now <laughs> I'm your daughter that's yeah really and that's my butt <laughs> that's right. and I'm the one doing the hamster yep <laughs> well guys it was really fun yeah we should uh like chat again sometime yeah because I don't know I miss hanging out with people from the trail for sure. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, for sure. And we'll be getting our summer plans here. If you guys have any time in the second or actually maybe third week of March, uh, let us know because I'm getting ready to start uh, booking some stuff. Um, okay. Yeah, she's got to start her new job, but if, uh, if it works out, that'd be great. Mm -hmm. If anything changes, I mean, it's kind of, this is our third year and it's, it's been really worthwhile. Yeah. Uh, I wonder, so I have oh, two, yeah. I have two friends that are uh, starting the trail. Really? Um, the 11th, I think is when they're starting of March. And uh, they won't be there by then. Probably not. No. I mean, it's only March 11th. Months. I started March 6th. Give them 10 days. So the 21st. Okay. They average 10 miles a day. That'd be fun. But that, yeah, I, to just like don't even tell them and show and like they walk up on us being trail magic, that'd be awesome. That would be fun. Wow. Um, but yeah, one of them actually came and hiked a small section coming out of uh, like Jennings going Creek. into Jennings Creek. <laughs> you I don't know if you remember that? that day. There's a picture of it in the book. Those people brought you breakfast in the parking lot, and then we went to that like yeah, yeah. yeah. And I remember, uh, I remember oh. the breakfast. Yeah, yeah that's the day we Creek. we yeah. lunch together. And I had like cold gummy bears. I don't know if yeah. you remember that. Oh, that was the next well, day. You had you had someone join you. Right. That was and uh, he was that was then? You're like well, yeah. like the few days before that, he had missed you guys and he'd been like following you guys on YouTube. And he's like, Oh, really? I hope I get to meet him. Like I, I want to meet this family. And, and then he, he like left, left before, two hours yeah, before right you guys, before showed, you guys up. showed up. Yeah. Uh. So yeah, it'd be cool if they got to meet you. Yeah. 
That would be cool. Right. Yeah, well, we'll keep in touch then. And then um, that's our plans and it'd be fun to touch base again. Yep. This was, yeah. it was really fun. I'm so glad you guys read it. It was fun to hear yeah. you guys' thoughts on I'm it. I'm so glad you wrote it. I'm glad that this got scheduled, it, which forced me to read it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I enjoyed that. I truly did enjoy the book. I am just a procrastinator. <laughs> Love it. Cool. Yeah. Cool, guys. Hey. It was so much fun seeing you guys. Have a good night. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Too. Forgot to grab the conch shell. Oh, yeah. Give him a good con. I know uh, where it is. Thank is you. she grabbing it? And yeah, then she'll, um, she'll grab it. I don't know what you're doing. Oh, well, it's, hang on. We have it too <laughs> over there, but. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> Because uh, I got a good story too uh, that I want to tell them about the audiobook, which I actually showed them some clips of me recording it, uh, but I don't think they know about it. Yeah, yeah. Um, ah, oh, yes. Here. Okay, before you do this, hang on. Because um, this is in the book, the conch shells, but I, I sent you guys, uh, or I showed you on Instagram maybe, but mm -hmm. so I'm like recording this audiobook. It's a pain in the ass. I'm like locking myself in this room and having to do it at night. But the only thing I insisted on is like, I need sound, a sound effect. And the guy's like, it's going to be $400 per sound effect. And I'm like, <laughs> it's only one sound effect. I need it in there. And uh, it's the conch shell is in the audiobook. It's the only sound effect besides my voice and the kid's voice is in the entire thing. But it's there. I think it's there three times. Yes. Um, so anyways, nice. I just want you to know it made history with us. History. Um, all because Nubs and I were joking about, you know, Piggy. <laughs> so this is the sound that we heard, uh, not hundreds of times, I would say, but tens of times for sure. Uh, I mean, you guys probably heard it hundreds of times. And then um, this is, oh, yeah. when you guys sent us the video of completing the trail, oh, this is what's that in that video. Oh, so too. sweet. Yeah. So we would do it where one person, if you were walking up on camp and you wanted to check if somebody was there, one person would do the first part. Yes. Oh, I love it. Just <laughs> good memories. <laughs> oh, man. All right. So epic, guys. Hey, good hanging. Likewise. Have a, Have a good night. one. Have a wonderful night, and hopefully, we talk soon. Bye. All right. See ya.